You was walking around this party like you don't know what happens when the sun goes down and the moon comes up. The blunts go round, everybody getting drunk all night. You know we put it down, put it down all night. Hey, we gon' fuck around, fuck around all night. What's good, YouTube? That one you here back again or once again. And today, people, today we are for episode number 41 for Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play. In the last episode, you guys. We uh, had an hour of power. We explored all of Route 15, a little bit of Route 16 as well. Apparently, we now have a Ziggard 10% form of chilling in our PC, which we still don't know what we're going to do with yet. And uh, we also picked up a few other side quests as well. And that Grimsley, too. Grim what? So much happened in the last episode. If you missed out, definitely make sure you go back and check it out. In today's episode, however, there's a few other... We're at a crossroads of sort on things that we need to do. So we're going to go ahead and dive into a few different options here in just a second. So if you guys are right for today's episode, and of course, if you're a proud member of the Nappy Nation, make sure you smash that like button down below for us, because you already know your support is great. They appreciate it. And of course, you know, can't nobody let's play a game with the motherfucking Nappy Nation can let's play a game. I'm going to get three more encounters in here right now. For like the past 20 minutes, I've been running around here in circles trying to find a Mimikyu. I I looked it up on, on YouTube and everything. I used the guide. It's not that you, you don't have to SOS chain it or anything like that. It literally is just a super rare encounter in the abandoned thrifty Megamart. You can literally just encounter it on your own, and that's that. It is what it is. Yada, yada, yada. So, hopefully we just have to run into it. I'm going to get two more encounters after this, and then we'll do a quick squad recap. But, the crossroads I'm talking about is we can either continue past Route 16 towards Pony, Pony Town, or wherever it is that we need to go uh, for the storyline. Or, if you guys remember, there was that area that was blocked by the Captain's Gate. I caught a cleft key as well, and that got uh, Delilah up to level 40, which is why Gabrielle's out here now. We're training her up next. Uh, but there's a captain's gate uh, by that oasis a little while back, and I think there's a desert that we can encounter or we can go through, and that's what I was saying. I think that's where Tapu Bulu or where his temple's at. So we're going to go explore that today. So it's a little bit of a detour of sorts before we head up uh, to Ponytown where we're continuing this work, where we're supposed to continue going. Uh, but I'm still trying my hardest to find this Mimikyu in here for this, uh, for this, uh, 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 side quest of the Pokemon Center Route 16. And someone let me know uh, in the comment section a few episodes back that apparently we missed out on a side quest as well. Apparently back in Hia Hia City on Akala Island, the first city, uh, where we first met Dex and Sino, Sino, Sino and Dex, whatever the fuck his name is. Uh, apparently there was a guy that wanted to find a Puka Muku. I think I did see that quest. I think I did see it in an episode. I just completely forgot about it. So we have that one. We have the Alolan Persian one. And now we have the uh, Mimikyu one as well. So there's three side quests we're currently working on. Someone also let me know in the comment section that apparently Alolan Meowth evolves into Alolan Persian through happiness in this game. It's not like regular Meowth to Persian, which is just by level, which I think is 28. I said 23 before, but I think it's 28. So that fucking sucks. So I think what I'm going to do to uh, kind of like uh, bypass that is I know Twit used Alolan Persian in his Let's Play. So I'm going to see if I can link up with Twit uh, either in the next episode or some other time and have him trade us an Alolan Persian just to register it in the Pokédex and we'll send it right back to him uh, since that's his little pride and joy. He used that in the first part of his uh, LP just so we can get the, the, the information uh, in on the decks and uh, complete the quest. So we don't have to sit here hoping and waiting. Oh my god, is it ever going to evolve? No, we'll just have the information to be able to go about our merry way. So let's get a quick squad recap for you guys here. Up first, we have Gabriella Oricorio holding the Sharp Beak, Rocket Air Cutter, Feather Dance, Teeter Dance, and Baton Pass. Then we have King Julian, our past Simeon with Brick Break, Bulk Up, Acrobatics, and Rock Tomb. Frankie, our child who's all grown up. Our Primarina holding Water Room Z with Scald, Aqua Jet, Sparkling Aurea, that signature Sparkling Aurea and Disarming Voice. Rupert, our Beware, holding the Quick Claw, level 36 with Brick Break, Brutal Swing, Rock Tomb, and Takedown. Cactus Jack, our other child. Child is all grown up. Our uh, uh, Toxic Pack level 40 with Scald, Poison Jab, Baneful Bunker, Toxic, and the Poison Bar to power up that Poison Jab. Last but not least, we have Delilah who hit level 40 between episodes. Like I said, we caught a Clef Key. That experience got her leveled up to 40. Home the Soft Sand, Rocking a High Horsepower, Rock Tomb, Double Kick, and Stomp. So, let us go ahead and slide over here and see if we can even access the desert number one. That is the first thing we need to see, if we can even access the desert. I feel like that's something that's so easily forgotten because you have to actually, you have to manually go back. It doesn't, they, they don't actually, like, uh, the storyline doesn't continue up here into the desert. You have to manually actually go back. And literally, I thought about it, like, right before I started recording this episode, like, oh yeah. Greetings, trial goer. I'm afraid this is Captain's Barricade. Only those who pass the ghost type trial can come through here. I was gonna say, ha, what the fuck? Ho! Oh, that's a Ghost Team Z right there. Then let me just get this thing out of the way for you one second. Yeah, bitch, nigga. 
open that shit up. I got a ghost DMZ with your motherfucking name on it, bitch. So, like I said, I don't think there's anything storyline related here, but I do want to see what's popping, what's moving and shaking in the hyena desert. What mons can we find in the hyena desert? Is this where you get g Gibble and Gabite? Oh my god. <laughs> I was not expecting a Doug Trio. The sunlight turned harsh. Okay. I'm gonna try and capture it. I wanna look up uh, the hyena desert real quick and see what's moving and shaking here, my boy. We should be able to hit you with another one of those. Let me see, can we... Where is Hyena Desert at? Page 178. Haha. -ha. Ruins of Abundance are in here. I don't want to see everything that's, that's over here. Oh shit, apparently it's like a maze. The desert's like a maze. We might be stuck here, my boys. We might be stuck here. Oh, there was the, there was the stack stone. So there's a lowland duck trio, sand dial, and in the in the sand clouds there's trap inches. Hmm. 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 So I think what I might just do, I'm gonna leave this open. I'm gonna leave this open just in case we get lost. I'm gonna leave this page open. I just want to see what mons uh, are uh, are available in this in this area for us to capture. So that means that. We can capture a trap pinch in sand clouds and a sand dial, just wild encounters. So once we get those, we are super repelling it the fuck up, and I'm not worried about shit else for the rest of the time we're here. Yo, the Alolan Duck Trio is funny because, like, look at his hair, but the only one that's actually funny to me is the one on the bottom right. That nigga has a bowl cut. That nigga literally has a bowl cut on the top of his head. That's wild. That's wild. They chose to do that with Duck Trio. Like why? Why? I know they said they went. They were just. They were doing it just to be like funny and have fun. I guess they achieved that because the Lonely Duck Trio is kind of wild. Kind of wild. The trio's dad will be added to the Pokédex. If only we could have encountered a Shiny Duck Trio. I mean, uh, the second Diglett we encountered was just Shiny Diglett. So maybe the second Duck Trio we encountered will be a Shiny Duck Trio. <laughs> maybe. 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 See, now our Melee Melee Pokedex is at 50% because, like, a Lolan Duck Trio is included in the Melee Melee Pokedex. Even though you can't catch a Duck Trio on Melee Melee Island, it still counts because you can get a Diglett on Melee Melee Island. Aha, uh -huh. so we're filling up multiple Pokedexes at once. Its shining gold hair provides it with pr protection. It's, rip it's reputed that keeping any of the fallen hairs will bring bad luck. Damn. 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 I'm gonna call you... Uh... It's a female. I'm gonna call you. You know what? Because I can't think of anything else. I'm just gonna call you Linda. I should have called it Tresemme. Or L'Oreal. That's what I should have called it. Because of the hair. Get it? Get it? Hair care products. Heads and shoulders. Is this a trap inch? You came to me, my boy. Is this a trap inch? Hey! These mods are just popping up left and right. I can't even see your fucking eyeballs, dude. They're popping up left and right, and I will gladly capture you. So we just need a sand dial, and we are good to go. Sand dial! Sand dial! That's crazy. That Like, obviously, the desert... Yeah, this is my home. I was going to say, obviously, like, uh... Whatchamacallit? It would be harsh sunlight in the desert, but there's none of the... Oh! Fuck, we killed it. God damn it. Now we gotta get another trap bench. But none of these mons take advantage of the sun. Like, I feel like there should be a sandstorm going on at all times. Air slash, absolutely, absolutely. Air air cutter. That's special. Sixty ninety five. Seventy five ninety five. I think I'm gonna get rid of air cutter for air slash, and then when we get revelation dance at forty, I'll get rid of one of the two dances we have. Probably feather dance. So we'll have air slash, revelation dance, tear dance, and baton pass. Which I don't even know why we need baton dance. I mean, I guess for its ability. Hey, come back here. Come back here. I guess for its ability, because you can copy other dances, then we can baton pass it away. Oh, it's a sand dial. Sand dial. Sand dial. I don't think we can attack it with anything Gabrielle has. Gabrielle's just too fucking strong. She will blow this little thing away. She will blow this little thing away. I mean, intimidate would have been not. I mean, we're, we're special attacking, so. My boy, it, you and I, you don't understand. You don't, you don't know, you don't understand. 
how important our connection, our bond is. So just, just get caught and stay in this ball for me. Crit capture. Nah, my boy. You don't understand. You have a name. You already have a name. You're one of my favorite Pokemon. You are just meant to stay in this damn Pokeball. Now, have me swap out to Cactus Jack and poison you now. Because I will. I will. Without hesitation. Without hesitation, I will. Come on, my boy. You are male as well. Don't make this more difficult than it needs to be. Thank you. Thank you. So now it's just the trap inch we need to capture. God damn. Now it's just the trap inch we need to capture, and we'll be good. Tuggo. Sandile's dad will be added to the Pokedex. I'm tempted just to add him to the squad. Look at the Crocorock. Look at Crocorock. Look at him. Yo, I love this line. I actually love this line. It's fucking dope. It submerges itself in sand and moves as if it's swimming. The wise behavior keeps its enemies from finding it and maintains its temperature. That's actually a really good dex description considering we found it from the dust cloud. It was under the ground. So there's only one name. There's only one name that we can name this thing. And that's nice and liability. Nice and liability. Send to the box, my boy. Be adamant, jolly, or impish, please. It's the only nature we need. We got black glasses. Oh, shit. Yeah, so apparently these rocks are supposed to be the way that you find your way around in here. And honestly, I could spray a super repel right now if I needed to because you can only get trap inch from the sand clouds. What's popping with you, young sand dial? Yeah, I wonder, can sand dial SOS for, like, a crocodile? Because also, that's another thing I forgot to mention. Apparently, apparently, uh, certain mons don't appear. I'm gonna double check it right now. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna double check it right now. Certain mons only appear via SOS. Oh shit, you got attacked. Be a trap inch, please. Be a trap inch. There's too many pages for me to deal with. It's a sand dial. Apparently, certain mons only appear via SOS. So, I want to see... I want to see if it'll tell us. No, it doesn't. Because apparently Elekid on the pass route, you guys know on the last route, Elekid's there. Apparently Elekid can SOS for a Chansey. Which I guess makes sense. You know, it's a baby Pokemon. It calls for its caretaker or a caregiver Pokemon. You can only SOS for a Chansey. That's how you get Chansey in the game. So it's like, it didn't tell us even in the guide that that's how you get Chansey. So that's wild. That's wild, that's wild, that's wild. We need to go in SOS for Chansey sometime. So we can add that to the decks. Because apparently it's a part of the decks, we just don't know it. So I'm really not paying attention to where I'm going. Which is probably a bad idea. We're going to get lost. Can we fly out of here? I'm, I'm guessing we can fly out of here. I need to hit these these patches, because that's how you find Trap Bench. Come here, my boy. Come here, my boy. I just need to find a goddamn Trap Bench, and we can ignore everything else. I hope Trap Inch wasn't the rare encounter. I don't think he is a rare encounter in here. I just want to catch a Trap Inch and be about my fucking way. And then we can find our way through here because apparently there's two items that we need to pick up. Because all that this guide is talking about is... Oh shit. Apparently there's a lot of decent items in here. Oh well, fuck. Maybe I messed up. Maybe I messed up. Maybe I should have followed some sort of guide. Maybe I should have. I just want to catch a trap inch. Once we get the trap inch, then I'll... Can we fly out? Can we actually fly out? Oh, shit. Hello? Oh, arr! I got dust in my eyes. Dust in my everywhere. Even Pokemon are rubbing their eyes. Well, okay. I glanced at the guide and it said some, some guy was supposed to give us uh, goggles. The go goggles. Be a trap inch, my boy. So I don't have to worry about anything else. Just be a trap inch. Hey! Asking you shall receive. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Apparently, Flygon is. Flygon gets Dragon Hands in this game. They, they changed it, so Flygon's a lot more viable now. I'm not even gonna attack this thing. I'm not even gonna attack it. We're just gonna straight up throw a goddamn Ultra Ball and catch this bitch. So, uh, is it. I think it's the Trap Inch. It's the Trap Inch Gibble line. Garchomp and Flygon that are exclusive. I think Flygon's exclusive to Sun and Garchomp's exclusive to Moon, maybe? I think that's what it is. I said it before it was the Metagross and Garchomp line, but I don't think it is because we can get 
uh, Metang in both areas. So I don't know. I don't know off the top of my head. But alright, we got Trap Inch though. Uh, Trap Inch for Bravo and Flygon. Probably remember the season one of the two songs for Akians. God damn it. Haha. It can live for a week without eating a thing. It waits patiently at the bottom of its nest for prey to appear. <laughs> well, there's only one name for this nigga right here. Nice and scrub a fucking dub. So, we caught everything in the desert area. Sent to a box. I want to see if we can actually fly out of here. Because if we can, then I'll go back in. And I'll follow the guide. Because it's it's actually just a fucking maze. We can fly out. Haha. -ha. Take me out of here. It actually is meant to be a maze. And the only way that we're going to find the items. And get to where we need to. In this episode is if we follow the actual guide. And imagine if we didn't have the guide. Imagine if we were just let's play this. I would have just said fuck it and gave up. <laughs> I would have just said fuck it and gave up. And that would have been that. We would have never found a goddamn thing. Because there's one item specifically that I want to find. I don't want to spoil what it is. But there is one item specifically that I really want to find. While we're in here. So. Yes we are going to use your We caught all three Pokemon that are available in here. Sand clouds are a Lolan Duck Trio. Sand Isle and Trap Inch. And in the desert you can find a Lolan Duck Trio and Sand Isles. Okay. So that's all we need. All we need. Depending on the weather, different Pokemon may appear when a wild Pokemon call for SOS allies in battle. When a sandstorm is raging, Cast Form and Gabite might jump into battle. Never mind. I guess I was wrong about G Gibble and Gab. Whatever. I don't give a shit about exclusive anymore. Okay, so when you first pop in, area one, go east past three stack stones to reach the west side in this of this same area. Go north past two stack stones to reach the south end of area two. Ho oh ho. Go past three stack stones to reach the west side of the same area. So this is still considered area one. What? So if we go... Don't touch me. Please don't touch me. Fucking hell, my dude. So if we go to the east here, it's still considered area one. At least that's what they're saying. You guys don't understand how fucking... I feel like this is... It's not as... Uh... Which I'm gonna call it. It's not as confusing as it seems, because like I'm looking at the guide, and there's only like six pictures total. It's just when you're in the game, it feels more confusing than it actually is. So this is still area one, and that's one item. It's item number two, the max elixir. I love how the guide gives you like little spots to check off, like what item you just got. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that is still area one, because you can't go anywhere else from here. Alright, so that's dope. Dippy fucking dope. Only other place we can go is north to area two. Go past one stone. Go east past one stone to reach the west side of area three. And area three. Where's area three connect to? Oh boy. Go west past two stack stones and you loop back to the east side of the same area. Go west past two stack stones and you'll... God fucking damn it. Do they come towards you because you're running? I feel like that's what it is. Because I'm running. I'm on the bull. They run towards me. I feel like if you walk, they'll just continue about their business. So we're going to hop off the Tauros. So we can stop with these encounters. There ain't no point in spraying a super repel. Ain't no point in spraying a super repel. If nothing else pops up. But, you see, they just told us about... I need to, I need to sit. I haven't looked at the guy for the third island yet. I've checked the guide out for the first island, that's about it. Okay, so if we go west here. If we go west here. It says it loops back around to this east side of the same area. It actually really does. That's wild. This is where we just came in. So not only are there only like four or five areas. But the, it's just, this is like the um, the forest from 6th Gen, where the Pokemon Village was at. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Go north past four sack stones to reach the south end of Area 4, which is where the dude the hiker was at, which we can't do anything with. Okay, so we're clearing these areas out slowly but surely, one at a time. I wish I could just put the picture on the screen of the guide so you guys can see what I'm looking at. So this should lead to a dead end. Yeah, this is the guy that we spoke to before. 
I got dust in my eyes, dust everywhere, but I'm my Pokemon rubbing their eyes. Okay, so there's nothing there. So the only place we can go is east. And that'll take us to area three. Hell yes, use another one. This takes us to area three. Alright. And then where does this take us? Where does this put us out at? D. Area 5. So apparently there's nothing in area 3. Oh shit. JK. Strange creature was sucked into the Ziggurat cube. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, it's just a, it's just a, a curved like passage from one area to the next. So area 3 just had the Zygarde cube. We suck that shit up. So this puts us out in area 5, which this is the biggest area. We need Mudsdale for it. Okay, so wait. J and M. Go west past three stack stones and you'll loop back to the east side of the same area. Okay. So where the fuck is M? Go east to reach the west side of area 5, even if you enter from area 7. Oh my god. So there's multiple entrances and multiple exits for one place now. Oh god, go north past one stone to reach the south end of area 4, which we've already been through. Go east past four stack stones to reach area 6. Okay, so we need to go east to continue on. So we can rock out with the Mudsdale gallop here, just to see what's in the middle. I don't think there's anything in the middle, it's just to avoid the, whatchamacallit. So there shouldn't be anything in this area. That's just a dead end. What the fuck's up with this? This literally is just here. To make things more difficult for you. Get off the Mudsdale, my boy. Oh fuck, I just tried to charge on fly. Get off the Mudsdale, my boy. So this should take us to... Area 6. Which is a dead end. Go west and you'll end up on the east side of Area 7 even if you enter from area 5. So if we exit out of here, we'll end up in area 7 instead of area 5. But area 7 looks just like area 5. Oh my god. What the hell? The Z crystal? Psychium Z. Just chillin'. Psychium Z, just chillin'. Alright, fuck it. Okay, so there's two other items that are left. There's a TM and a Comet Shard that we're looking for. Hot damn. So we entered through we entered here through area five, but we exit into area seven. Which looks just like area five. And apparently this is where that comet shard's at. And why we need the Mudsdale ride. Don't do this, thank you. Hot damn. So it's like illusions, because you're in the desert and there's heat and everything, it's like an illusion. <laughs> I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay, so the only thing that's left is TM85. So we're in area seven now. Go past two stones to reach area eight. Where's area eight? North end of area four. Okay, so before we do this, so there's two different areas we can go, but this one, I know, will take us back. We'll be able to get back to the exact same area that we, or we'll be able to get back to this area. So this takes us to the north side of area eight, which is TM85 Dream Eater. Hot fucking damn! Yes! And the other side is where the other guy was at. This is where the other guy was talking about he had sand in his eyes, was chilling at. I thought we could get the go goggles here, though. <clears throat> so this says, the old man near the desert entrance says the secret to the desert is 2143. This pattern relates to the number of stacked stones you see near the desert connecting paths. And following will lead you to high the desert most important parts, though there is more to explore if you like. Look for the stacked stones and count the number of stones on each side to crack the code. First, head north past two stones, then east past one stone. The next area will have no stones, so dash right through it. The next area, following a rocky path, head past the stack of four stones to each reach a Z crystal. Leave that area and you will come to the point F. It may look to you like the back of area 5, but you actually arrived in area 7. There are two, the two are nearly identical. Go past north one, ruins of abundance. Okay. Take pity on the thirsty trial at the entrance. Give her fresh water and she'll give you some, some gifts. When you backtrack to the previous area after claiming the Psychium Z, you actually appear at F. It looks just like the previous area, but close observation reveals the common charge of serious appear in the mist. You reach Dream Eater. That's what we did. After taking the Psychium Z and backtracking the F, go north to reach Runes of Abundance. It's not here you can do it at the moment, but you can claim a Zygarde still if you want. Dope. Get safety goggles. Enter the desert at night and go north through 
to reach the hiker. Tell him that Pokemon's eyes are looking pretty bleary. Okay, so that hiker gives you safety goggles, but only at night. So we'll have to come back at night to get the safety goggles from Homeboy. Alright. I was wondering why he kept talking about it, but he wouldn't give it to us. So, I'm sorry, I apologize for all this confusing. Like I said, I wish I could share this, the, the image that I'm looking at with you guys. Like, if you look at this, if you look at the guidebook, you guys see this? Like, it's literally so, it's confusing, but it's not confusing if you just sit down and look at it and go through it. And that's what I did. So, we're almost out of here. We're almost done. Uh, we're back in Area 7. L will take us to Area 8. Do we need anything in Area 8? I don't even see Area 8 on the map. Area 4. I don't know where Area 8 is. Oh, it's up here. There's nothing in Area 8. Alright, so we're not going to go that way. So we're going to go to the Ruins of Abundance instead. We can walk straight across, but I don't feel like summoning Mudsdale again. I'm, I'm telling you. They're on a set path, but if you run past them, they will break their path and run into you. I'm telling you, that's what happens. That's what fucking happens. Alright, Sandow. It's time for us to dippy dip the fuck up out, my boy. It's time for us to dippy dip the fuck up out. <sighs> what an interesting episode. What an interesting little side episode. We just break off for a moment and go into the desert. I know a lot of people in their Let's Plays completely skip this place altogether. I know I was talking to Nexus and a few other people and they are like, there's a desert? I didn't even know there was a desert. And we made it to the Ruins of Abundance. And this is where you were, would encounter Tapu Bulu. So we, we haven't seen Tapu Koko's place on Mele Mele Island because the bridge flew out in the beginning. And we never got to see... Well, we saw a little bit of Tapu Lele's place, but you need whatever yeah we had another puzzle like this so we couldn't get past because we don't have strength or whatever strength is in this game so Tapu Bulu would be chilling here as well that's dope Landers was the abundance Pokemon Tapu Bulu is abundance as well so we've officially explored everything we only didn't visit one area which was area 8 but that doesn't get you anywhere so we're not worried or concerned about that just yet so we explored the desert we got our Comet Shard which you can sell for 30k which would be nice because you can always use more money we gotta give homegirl the fresh water. Where do you get fresh water from? That's what I don't know. That's what I don't know. Can you get it from the Pokemon Centers? Can you get it from the Pokemon Centers? Yes or no? Yes or no? Oh, another Pokemon. No, no, not here. I, could, I should sell the Comet Shard, though. We need to find a... Whatchamacallit for you, though. Pokemons make Pokemon happy. Thanks for the rare candy, my boy. That's two rare candies we got. Pokebeans when it gets rough. Nope, no water from you. I don't know where the fuck you're supposed to get fresh water from then. We need to find a fresh water and give it to the trial guide. Because that will give us. We should give us adrenaline orbs for it. We can buy adrenaline orbs. I don't know where you're supposed to get water from though. So, oh well. Oh well. We'll figure it out. Anyways, I think now's a good enough time as any to go and wrap up today's episode. Like I said, it was a nice little uh, detour from our current progression. And we were able to explore the desert, which a lot of people haven't, and got a Psychium Z as well. I don't know if you get Psychium Z anywhere else in the game. It looked like it was like a sacred little place that was chilling there, so that was dope. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, and of course if you're a proud member of the Nappy Nation, make sure you smash the like button down below for us, because you already know your support is greatly appreciated, and you know, can't nobody let's play a game with the motherfucking Nappy Nation can let's play a game. With that though, I'm gonna get up out. Thank y'all once again for your support, and thank you for checking the video. But yeah, this bitch. Bye!